Hallo und willkommen, ich bin Meister Lenz hier, this is Emily and you're watching Get Germanized 10 Helpful YouTube Tips, Part 1. I am bored, what should I do? Ah, ich weiß. Get Germanized. Let's get started with tip number one. Nummer eins. Okay, for the first one I'm going to go straight in there with the, the harsh topic of haters. <laughs> um, Dem haters. What is tip number one? Uh, be ready for hater comments, but don't worry about hater comments because you only get hater comments when your video matters, otherwise no one cares about your video, you know, you don't get hate. Exactly. Just embrace all the comments. Embrace all the hate. <laughs> Let the hate flow. It will happen no matter what. You can put out something that's really good and totally non-offensive and is amazingly put together and thought out and then people will still hate on it just for the sake of it. So it's yeah. not even anything to do with what you're doing. It's just because these people are trolls. Yeah. So just... Um, accept it and deal with it and it's part of YouTube. Whether that's a good thing or a bad thing could be a whole different video, you know, whether we should accept that, but it's just kind of the way it is at the moment. Yeah. So yeah. Number two is you should have a schedule for your videos. Let your viewers know when you upload your videos, otherwise, you know, well, well they won't know what? Uh, they won't know yeah. and that's not a good thing. It's kind of like your favorite TV show. Yeah. You yeah. always know when it's on, right? Yeah. And you tune in to watch that video. Well, what's your favorite show? Coronary Street? What's it called? Coronation Street. Coronation Street. Street. <laughs> right. You need to know that. when that's on. I haven't watched that in years, but I could probably still tell you when it's on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, stuff like that. <laughs> Let people know. Tip number three is, again, about the comments. Don't listen to the good comments or the bad comments. Uh, and I say this because if you listen to people constantly telling you that you're good and that you're amazing and that your work is great, then you'll start to take that on board and then you'll think you're amazing and that's not a good thing. I personally find it best to be always striving for something better and so if I constantly think my work needs improvement, that's a good thing. Don't yeah. take what these people are saying as the golden truth. Like just because one person says they love your videos and that you are the best person on this planet, that doesn't mean that that is the case, believe and, it or not. Yeah, some people just <laughs> say that to get in touch with you because they know you are more likely to respond maybe if they, you know, yeah, I mean, they're just being friendly. Yeah. Um, that, that's true, yeah, that might be possible too, but <laughs> they always overthink stuff. So. They just want to talk they, to me. They just want See, your soul. Dominic is having a problem with this being humble thing. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, I do. You need no. tip number three. <laughs> but, but that's something I notice on YouTube, especially with bigger YouTubers, um, that at some point, they, I don't know, how do you say that in English? It, like, they can't handle all the... the the viewers, the fans anymore, they get a little bit less humble. Well, they, they are adored, and, um, and so... <laughs> and they know it. <laughs> they, they, they know it, yeah, yeah they know it. Mm. So, be humble. Be humble. <laughs> number four, point number four, uh, branding, really, really important stuff. Um, doesn't only mean, well, a good name, doesn't only mean the packaging, the looks, but also means... Well, it can mean everything, like um, a catchy... Um, jingle, like a music theme, it can mean like the actual type, the personality, like that can be part of your branding. Um, for example, like certain type of jokes or whatever. Um, but yeah, of course, it's how the channel looks, like the logo, the avatar, um, things like that are really important. It creates this kind of entire package for your channel. And um, I would say branding is really important. And that, that can also be rolled across um, other social media such as Facebook, Instagram, uh, Twitter, and things like that. And then when people go to one place, they know that's the same place as the other place because it all looks the same or it all has the same feel or yeah. whatever. Same for your thumbnails as well. Like try to include at least a little bit of like the same stuff for most new videos at least. So yeah, that people, that's a good idea. Yeah, if they see your thumbnail, they know, oh, that's from, you know, Get German, this is from Emily Bland. Because there's, I actually have in a little, in the left corner, I have a little um, logo, Get yeah. German, logo. Or like me as an avatar, like just a silhouette. Just, you know, a little thing to make people see that it's my video. Tip number five. There's this ingenious feature on YouTube called hide this user's comments on this channel and it is the best thing ever invented when you click hide this user's comment on this channel they can still keep commenting but nobody can see the comment oh, okay. apart from them <laughs> so a good thing to do if you think you've been blocked from someone's channel is to sign out 
and then look at the video comments again. And if your comment isn't there, then you know you've been blocked because your comment doesn't appear. So you've tested it. So I've tested it. Oh, nice. Yeah, awesome. That's <laughs> some tea. <laughs> in the beginning, I was only using this feature. I think it used to be called the "just block this user" mm, feature, yeah. and uh, I used to use it use it sparingly because I didn't want to offend anybody. And then I realised that most of these people that are writing hateful things, or even things that are just like a pain, like not even things that are that uh, spiteful and horrible, but just things that are like an annoyance in my daily life because I do daily vlogs, so. Of course, I'm listening, to, sorry, reading comments on a daily basis. I decided to just be a little bit more tough because I was sick of reading even like tiny little annoying niggly things. So I just blocked like everyone that said anything remotely annoying. I mostly give them like, like two strikes. That's a really good, really good thing. So um, another feature that's really good is on your YouTube comment section, which shows you the comments from all the previous videos. It's youtube.com forward slash comments. Um, if you type in the username in the search box at the top, it will come up with all the users' comments that they've commented on that channel from years ago even. And so you can easily see if this person is continuously yeah. posting annoying or hateful things on your videos. And some people really post a lot of nice stuff as well, but then they will post this really rude stuff yeah. as well at the same time. And I'm always like torn between, like, should I, should I not? But I think you should block them, at, like, or at least tell them. That's what I did recently. Some person was always being really weird about some things. And mm -hmm. I said like, oh, if you keep this up, I will have to block you. I'm sorry, but you know, that I can't have that on my channel. Mm -hmm. And he stopped. Ah. He never posted stuff like that again, because I think he really wants to watch my videos still and whatnot, or comment on the videos. And he still wants, to interact, interact yeah. with you, so yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah. So that's it with the first five uh, helpful YouTube tips. I hope you liked it. For part two, like I said, check out Emily's channel. Here you can click her face for her channel and then you're gonna find part two as well. Or in the video description, definitely check the link out there. Uh, give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, right? Mm -hmm. Thumbs up are always really helpful and nice. Really good. Really good, right? Subscribe to both of our channels if you enjoyed this. Or um, to my channel as well if you wanna know more about the German language culture and the same with Emily's channel very much. Yeah. Um, yeah, thank you very much for watching. Thank you. Don't forget to get German as goodbye and auf Wiedersehen. Bye. Bye. Love the video? Make Get Germanized videos possible through your support on patreon.com slash get germanized and gain access to exclusive rewards and other cool things. Number two is schedule... Oh. <laughs> uh, you should let you know... 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 Uh,